Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Surrey Hills. Out for a quick spin today with Phoebe and Lucy. We still haven't chosen Lucy's nickname. So maybe we're gonna have to do that today. The sun was out. Hopefully it comes back. 50 miles. So, top of Staple Lane, first climb of the day done. Thought I'd do a little F up that one. Might have gained a little bit of fitness doing all that training with Tobias. Hello. Not using power at the moment, so don't really know how hard I went. You get up to the top, you like, oh, cool. Box Hill's all right. Like, I don't know. That's like, harder than Box Hill. That's harder than, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah but that's, that's harder. But you come from Norfolk and Hackney. <laughs> That's harder it's than anything. It's one of the flattest places yeah. in the world. A bridge is my outdoors, like. <laughs> you notice there's a new cafe there? Yeah. Like a pop-up cafe. I feel like it'll be too early for a cafe stop though. I feel like we did say we were going to have seven cafe stops. But yeah, we've no? got to make up for uh, Lucy, we've got to choose your nickname today. It's up to me. Yeah. Love. People put the votes in the comments. <laughs> we'll check them at a cafe later, and then you have to decide. Okay. Yeah? Okay, today's the day. <laughs> today's the last day we can call you Tiny Head. Yeah, <laughs> get it in now. It doesn't actually affect me, like I'm fine. I know my head's small. I'd rather have a small head than a big head. No offense to anyone with a big it's head. True, so mean. <laughs> oh, maybe so I should mean. just stop talking. All I'm the big head guys in my comments. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the best. <laughs> it's it not looks horrible. Like, I don't know, I can't it is horrible. It's great. It. It's like one of those weird like, trypophobia things. Yeah, if you have that, you'd probably really hate the saddle. It's very squishy and comfortable mm. though. Is it molded to your ass? Uh, no. Oh. It's 3D printed, so Specialized made it in collaboration with a company called Carbon. And, and you can buy them now. <laughs> called what? Sigma Sports. Yeah, at SigmaSports.com. <laughs> um, my discount code 10% Lucy. Like. <laughs> Lucy 10. It's actually more comfortable, but also in terms of production, they can shrink that right down. Instead of producing it in a big factory, they make it in this machine. Well, a 3D printer basically. Yeah. It's really cool. So Crop North is one of the more popular climbs out here in Surrey. Super steep, like 17% and you go under this bridge. Turns out you can get on top of the bridge. I've never been here. What an adventure. Do you know, it's called Dorking Arch. <laughs> That's steeper than the climb. <laughs> Kill them, mate. Do you know the guy that made this bridge? was called Lord Lovelace. I used to live in Lovelace Road. It's pretty cool. I've, yeah, I've probably done this climb about 50 times, maybe. I don't know. Never but been up here. Never been up here. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite funny. Like. Yeah. But you can see how small your head is. <laughs> this is far too entertaining. <laughs> go, 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 go. Almost there, mate. Almost there. You're being chased down. Go, 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 go. go. Nice quick spin back. Got a bit of a tailwind now. Coffee time. And uh, I managed to completely smash my legs once again. Climbs in Surrey just cool for it. Too many people to chase. Got a new helmet for you. <laughs> Beautiful ride. Back just before it's gonna start raining. Another coffee. That turned into a pretty solid ride with Phoebe and Lucy. Now, since I'm not racing anymore, I'm actually really enjoying social rides like that with hard efforts in as a way to stay fit. And they do actually work really well. Living where we do in the Surrey Hills, uh, we're surrounded by four to five minute climbs. So they're actually really useful for doing VO2 max efforts. And if you go out and you ride them hard, you're essentially training your VO2 max really well. Now VO2 max is the maximum amount of oxygen that your body can process while you're doing some exercise. So it's actually a very good marker for how fit you are if your events are standard events like road racing or crits or sportives with climbs in. Spending time at 90% or above of your VO2 max is gonna help push it up. And you're gonna be doing a lot of power to do that. Way more than your threshold or FTP. This is a lot harder of an effort. It's usually only bearable for about five minutes anyway. And it's usually only bearable for about five minutes anyway. 
Typically, if you're racing and have a coach and you want to raise your VO2 max, you'll be prescribed some sort of intervals. Five times five minutes up a hill with a fairly moderate amount of rest in between. These are going to be one of the most bang for buck ways you can raise your VO2 max in terms of time spent on the bike. But there's definitely a place for rides like today's ride or rides with even more hills in, um, as long as you're riding them at over 90% of your VO2 max. Five minute efforts are popular because it's quite easy to find a bit of uninterrupted road that's five minutes long or a climb because uh, obviously we're moving slower so it's easier to contain it. It's also very easy to deal with five minutes as a duration of suffering. If you hit start on your Wahoo and you start looking at it um, and the effort's 10 minutes or longer, it can really crack you. Psychologically, I think rides like today are even easier because you've got much longer rest in between, uh, you're having a chat with people, you're actually going somewhere instead of riding up and down a hill. But because you're extending the rest in between your efforts, you're not getting up to that 90% of VO2 max as quickly. So you're not gonna spend as much time in that zone as you would if you were doing an interval session. It's not quite as efficient. Having said that, there are benefits to slotting these kind of efforts into a longer ride because in the context of a longer ride, you're going to be more prepared for something like a road race where you've been riding for two hours before doing the said effort. So there's absolutely pros and cons to each method. And going out for a smashy hills ride with your friends is not to be sniffed at. It still gives you benefits. I've definitely got fit from doing it. I guess that's just what happens when you sit on Tobias's wheel. There's not much thinking involved, which is great. It's kind of annoying me that I haven't got a power meter set up on my bike at the moment. So I'm going to try and rectify that. Um, I don't know if I have any bottom brackets that fit the info crank on, which is annoying, but I'm going to try and sort that out and see how my power is now compared to how it was back when I was racing, probably with disappointing results. Anyway, I'm going to sign today's video off here. I need to get down and do some editing. Really hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. In fact, let me know in the comments what your favorite training session is. Have you done VO2 max intervals before? How much do they suck? A lot. And I'll see you guys soon.